now that we've looked at the uh, selectors, let's look at the, the declaration. Um, the correct syntax for a declaration is a property followed by a colon and then a value followed by a semicolon. So for example, up here, our little green uh, rule here, uh, this would be considered the selector, of course. Color would be the property and green would be the value. And then this whole thing right here is, is called the declaration. One thing to note is that the syntax is very important when writing out declarations. Uh, if you make a mistake or have an invalid declaration or keyword, then the whole rule will just be ignored. So if we did color is happy, your computer isn't going to freeze and your browser is not going to lock up. It's really not going to do much of anything. The, the browser is going to look at that and go, oh, okay, color happy, I got it. Uh, I don't really understand what you're getting at there. So I'm just going to ignore you. And it's just going to skip this rule altogether and or skip this declaration altogether and go to the next one. Um, just like you can group selectors together to make a single rule, you can also group declarations together into a single rule. So for example, if we wanted to do uh, green, but we also wanted green to be have a uh, Oh, I don't know, a font size of 13. So we do font size 13 pixels. Okay, you could do that and that would work, but would probably be a better way to do that is to just put that right in line with the other one. Uh, this is definitely the preferred way of defining multiple styles for a single selector. Uh, you just want to make sure that you don't forget your semicolon uh, after each declaration. And one thing to, uh, to think about, or one thing to note here, is that why it, it may be valid CSS to leave a semicolon after your declaration off. Uh, sometimes if you're going through different uh, CSS websites, CSS examples, they won't have the uh, last semicolon in their list. Um, while it might be valid CSS, it's generally not considered good practice and uh, I probably wouldn't recommend it.